Welcome back everyone to Rugby Champions, where in today's episode, the Highlanders are taking to the road, not up country, not over the ditch, but to the big nation of South Africa. We take on the lowly Lions in the first match of our tour, looking to keep up our winning streak and to keep our playoffs finals hopes alive. It is the Lions at home. Up against the Highlanders, and this is a dangerous banana skin we are not taking lightly. Just like they did against the uh, Sunwolves a couple of weeks ago. We have learned from that era, and we are going to look to make these boys pay for any possible thoughts that they would beat us. We've kicked this away. Thomas Umanga Tenson remains part of the unchanged bar the one injury to Liam Coltman. And that's a change of hook, and that sees our new air come into the team. Oh, Ben Smith, have a look at the work from the fullback. And he's done so well. He has been isolated, and the ball has been turned over from the Lions. And here's Tianzi with a early chance down the right wing side. We need to oh, protect us. We just about lose that in a... Almost turnover there from, I think, to be Lee was quickly into that rock. Groom goes out to Yankees, who split the line beautifully for Harold Vorster, and the chase is on as they spread it out on the 22. And the Highlanders under early pressure here by sucking the holo is way off his wing. Oh, big tackle knock on from Alton Yankees. And we are just throwing it through our, well, Want to be back line here. Now it goes to no one in particular. The Lions will pick this up and it will be a scrum advantage from the knock on. We will go back to what has been a, a pretty average start here by the Highlanders. Here is Aaron Smith. Aaron Smith with a great run. What a beautiful play by the scrum half. He stopped to kick it. That was terrible. Really was brainless. And a turnover. Oh, what am I doing? I wanted to put a little kick away. I just wanted to try and get in the right area of the field. I've made the whole logo flying into touch. What am I even doing? The highs of last week's win against the Hagarades is coming quickly unstuck as we are making silly mistakes tonight. There's an injury. There's another injury. Has that been kicked or has that been knocked on? It's an injury, I think, to a Lions player. Looks like the loose they're probably going back, of course. They had penalty advantage, and now it is out to Yankees. Who will take the shot at goal? Run front, 40 odd meters out, and he has shanked it away. To, oh, hang on. We just want to put this down, Ben. <laughs> Slow it down. I was going to run it out. I was like, what am I doing? What am I doing? Slow it down, Ben. Get it out. We're just going to sock this straight down the center of the park with uh, Josh Yuani. And the chase is coming in here from Matt Fattis. A good 22, and it's a good result because this is not quite out in the full. Back to Ben Smith, the ghost, who gets absolutely pummeled, and I think we've lost it. Wow, these guys are destroying us in the breakdown, but Diamani is throwing that straight to touch. We'll get the line outs, but we are not doing a good job protecting our ball at all. We've, wow, we've struggled here. We, what are we doing? Naholo, we've lost it again! Well, we can't keep this up. We can't go two phases here. The Lions are destroying us in the breakdown. Wack goes to Yankees, who finds Lano Mapu. The dangerous runner is the center. Now it's a one-on-one -on -one defense required. Oh, we really should have put him in touch. We've turned it over, though. Aaron Smith gets there first. What are we going to do, though? Ben Smith, the first receiver to Yuani. He holds on nicely. Himopo's there and he's got a beautiful ball away. Aiden Johnston, we need to look wide. Quickly it goes to Matt Fattis. And the flat ball was almost... We've lost it again. What? This is ludicrous at the moment. We are getting destroyed at the breakdown. Not even close. The Lions just turned the ball over at absolute will. We're defending well though. Skosan has a stab and... Lynch has tries to turn the ball over and has come back to Yankees, who's kicked this out of the full. 
They are making errors, the Lions. And we are struggling, but we are doing enough to stay in this game, at least. There's a good flat ball to Umunga Jensen. Short as fattest. Looking out wide of Ben Smith. He's still got Lee with him. Goes only to Tavita. Tavita Lee! Oh, no! What have I done? Oh! Tried to use every inch of the paddock. And I've run into touch. That was a try. That was such a try. We should have... Oh, what am I What am I even thinking? I've made a mockery of this, and now we're going backwards. Oh, you idiots. It should be 5-0. We should be coming back from the brink, and now it's a kick away. No one's home. We've just lost 60 metres, and now I'm really frustrated as well, which annoys me even more. Ben Smith does well, though. We break the line. We keep it alive. We find a way to the halfway line. We've got the ball quickly. Now we go to Tavita Lee. He's on the wrong wing, but I really don't care anymore. We need some support. Oh, we've knocked it on. God damn it. Our own worst enemy, but, but let's be fair. So are the Lions tonight. Both sides guilty of being garbage. That's a, that's a, oh, almost intercept. Matty Fattis was all over that one. Like an oily rag as they... Continue back to the short side, and Mapu has the kick. Where's Ben? Thank you, Ben. Oh, Ben, we've got to do something. Ben slips out of two tackles. That's Ben Smith. Now let's hold on to the ball. The forward is right there in time to give us some play. Here's Joshuani. Almost through, looking for Fattis. Have we lost that? Matt Fattis was the first man there. And we've still lost it. Perhaps, and now they've got numbers out wide. Could see a great little drop off ball to Diamani. And we charge him backwards. I don't know what we can do here, guys. We, we just, we're getting smashed the breakdown. We cannot, well, we cannot put two uh, phases together. But um, our defensive work is proving very good as this is not going to go out again. Is it going to go out to the end goal? It does. And now we will I'll push the right button. Goodness me, you idiots. Ben Smith puts it in goal again. Oh, I'm not having a good game here today, guys. I'm really not having a good game. We're trying our best, but we're just not linking up. We're not finishing. It's half time. It's still nil. And on the road in South Africa is not the place to have a nightmare. <laughs> Deontay says, I'm not having any of this garbage in my own half of the ball. Get out of here. And he has, um, well, he's probably put us in a, in a better position, to be honest with you, because now we can put pressure down here on this um, winger. I presume it will be Deontay again. It's all by himself, very isolated. I like putting pressure on the isolated player. Let's um, get this out wide. Let's get a chase going from... To be the lead, does he smash them? Turn over, please, turn over, please, come on! You've got to be kidding me. The kick comes in from Harold Vorster. Where's, where's, where's Ben? Ben takes a wee while to get going. He's, oh, he's shrugged away through one. Naholo. I want to go left, please, team. Let's keep it alive. Oh, good work. This is better. Himopo. Himopo! Oh, God. Is that a knock on? It, it is. Oh, really, it's terrible. It really is. Trying to do something fancy there, we've overcooked it massively. The scrum goes okay, but they get it away easily to Deanti. Oh, that is dangerous. And they're flowing out wide here are the Lions. Now Vorster gets up to the 10 meter line. I prefer that they kick this away, but I don't think I'm going to be that lucky. Oh, crunching tackle and a turnover. I like that. Okay, Lomax. I was going to charge with Flomax in the end. Oh, we've lost the ball again. This is going to be a nil. You know what? Wait, stop. This is going to be a nil-nil if this kicks up. I need to change something. Squire, who's better in the ruck? Passing. Uh, what am I looking for? What am I looking for? Ruck. Here we go. 95. Oh, Frizzell is way worse in the ruck. <laughs> Why do I want to do that? Um, oh, what do I do? My back row is terrible. Who's been in the ruck here? 84. Okay, so Parkinson's going to come off with Dixon. 
I, I want to bring Fazell on. Wow, Lynch is really is the worst player in the breakdown. We lose a little bit there, but I think we're going to gain a little bit more elsewhere. Sorry, James, but um, we've just got to get more muscle, more mongrel, something into this um, pack. Ben's back there. Ben takes it in nicely. Smith. Oh, no. And we, oh, I don't know how we've held on to that. There was a lot of Lions players there. And in the breakdown, there's a lot of Lions players as well. But there's no one out wide. Here is Putty Putty Parkinson. Run, Putty Putty. Go yourself, son. Offload? Offload? No. Didn't want to offload. That's okay. We've lost it again. Oh, no. What is going on? We are a disaster, it seems. And now here comes a high kick. Pressure on Ben Smith, but he eats those for breakfast. Oh, no. Why did I say that? He should have eaten that for breakfast. It's a good run. Naholo gets us out of trouble. And we've lost the ball again. What? What is going on? We can't do anything. Oh, for goodness sake. This is ludicrous. 5-0 lines scored by Alton Yankees. I can't go two phases. I'm smashing guys in the breakdown as quickly as I can, but I'm just getting smoked. What do I do? What do I do? Let's go the other wing. I'm, I'm really, I'm puzzled as to what I can do to actually give ourselves a chance here. I want to try and pop this up into no man's land, which is right about there. I've got six minutes on the road in South Africa. We are just looking terrible. I'm sorry, we are looking out of our depth. Here's a great chase as well. And Nuya is there. And it's a good play from Josh Dixon, the substitute on the field. It's, oh, no. Really could have done a bad offload there. Let's get quick ball. Come on, team. Ben Smith away to Aaron Smith. It's our assisting Kings. So we go through the back line. Here is Thomas Umanga Jensen. Looking out wide it goes. Shannon Frizzell one. Oh, he's dropped it. He has just dropped it cold. And we've lost the ball. I don't believe it. Two tries. Bunched by the Highlanders. And now they'll kick this. Oh, no. They're going to run it. And through goes Forster. It's no one at home. There is no one. Yes, there is someone at home. Thank God for that, Ben. Really, we should have turned that over. Oh, I can't believe the ground. No, now no one's at home. Oh, this is bad news, Barry, for me. Inside now, our own 22. And now we've got to go. Oh, what the hell is that? To be the lead. We've just thrown it dead and go. What? What were we thinking? The Lions getting a gift of a win here against the Highlanders. We are... We are at our worst right now. We are at our absolute worst. So good against the Jaguars. Now we're absolute junk. A week on. And a big road trip. Well, plane trip, I guess you'd call it. Good tackle. What do we do? The back line has been all right. We should have scored a couple of tries. But here's a little grubber kick through from Mapu. And it's... it's oh, What? What? Luke Whitelock, you idiot, you absolute clown. He's just spilled the ball and caught Nell Skosan. Has stolen it. That, that, that's disgraceful. Absolutely. Dis we're, we're gone. We're gone. Put a fork in us. We're done. Absolute junk. What trash, Highlanders. Put yourselves in the garbage. You know what? I'm done. I'm, I'm, I'm just done. Leonard Brown is going to come on for Johnston. I don't care. Ash Dixon, come on. Nui has been crap. Fakatawa can come on. See Aaron Smith, your junk. Um, everyone has been rubbish. Oh, I don't even know who I want to blame here. Ty Warden, come on. Jordan Highland. I, I really don't care, Jordan. I just don't care. Who did that last era? It was it was Lee, wasn't it? Yeah, you're gone, Tavita. Sorry. Get, get these losers out of here. We've been garbage, absolute trash. This is disgraceful from the Highlanders. Just a disgrace. We've, we've offloaded. I mean, it doesn't, does it really matter anymore? This is how garbage we are at the moment. We're just rubbish. Just absolute rubbish. Here's Yuani. Oh, he couldn't step a post. We've kicked onto the ball. Two phases for once. Oh, hallelujah. Here's Josh Dixon. He's got support on his outside as well. Gets a quick little Whitelock. Whitelock has got him there. And it's a... 
It's a try! I thought it's a touch! He's a touch, but it's a try! Naholo scores! We got a minute to go! Right, let's celebrate the try. This is going to be an absolute corker if he can nail this. And be clear, he needs to nail it as well. We've got a minute. This is for at least a bonus point, team. We need the bonus point. We need something. And he's got it as well. Good kick. Good kick, Josh. Make the changes. Let the subs come on. Everyone's on. The bench is empty. I did it out of frustration, but really, I probably should have hung on. Turn the ball over. Yes! Give me the ball! Where, here we go. Here is Frizzell. He's, he's been on. He's been completely useless. Got away to Dixon. Dixon shrugs away one. Goes deep to Homopo. Homopo's got it to Naholo. Naholo. All alone. Waisaki. Beat your man. Waisaki. Oh, Naholo. Down the wing. Waisaki. The chase is on. They won't stop him. Oh, yes. Waisaki. Naholo scores. 20 minutes is up. This is for the draw. Joshuani from the right hand touchline. Two minutes, we've scored two tries, and stealing a draw from the jaws of defeat. He's got it! Oh, that was close! It's 14 all, and this one is all over! Unbelievable stuff! The Highlanders clutching a draw from the jaws of defeat. We were out, we were down and out and gone. Shut down by a very good Lions team. The Ruck. I mean, let's be fair. We butchered two really easy tries. Uh, to be Lee put himself in touch when he was clear and home. Um, and then what was the other one? I can't remember. But also this. Outs and Yankees. Shanking his penalty away to the uh, left-hand side or the right, depending which way you're looking at it. Um, which would have given that three-point difference as well when it was nil-nil. Uh, we gifted them their tries. We well, fought back well. I mean, we should have scored at least, I mean, four tries. Let's be fair. So much to be the team. Where's the one we really uh, stuffed up? We cooked it massively. This is it here, I think. We went early. Ben Smith went early. And around the outside, he was in. Oh, that really, that really, really gets me. I'm moving on. Because, oh, that's frustrating. That is a stupidly frustrating game. 14 14, two tries, two conversions. We were outdone, really. I mean, we got dominated in the breakdown. Give me breakdown stats. Uh, there's none. Well, hang on. Let's look at these stats. Oh, there it is there. Turnovers one. Holy hell. 10 to 3. 10. 10. Uh, wow. Wow. The Lions. I think they've only won one or two games all season, but they have just smashed us in the ruck. And we had no answers. We really, really had no answers. We offloaded like hell. They missed. Oh, we, oh, we should have smashed these guys. What am I? What am I even talking about? We were so bad. Uh, Yankees and Skozan scored for the um, for for the Lions. I'm just looking. I'm seeing that Yankees has got a, a a name in every column here. Converge has got two out of two. He missed the penalty. I, I don't remember him going for a drop goal. That try by Courtney Skozan, by the way, was I think one of the best I've seen on rugby champions. This goes to show. What you can actually do on this game, because that little grubber through, normally normal rugby games that wouldn't work. And yes, Luke Whitelock spilt the ball. He should have he should have taken care of that, no problem. But still, uh, that was a really, really nice try. Waisaki got two in the right hand corner. That's what he does. He did something brilliant in the second. I mean, that was a one-on-one. -on -one. Had to go for the step, thankfully for us to come off. And Josh Juani clutched with the boot. Gives us a try. Um, let's see who killed us though. Um, miss tackles, no, no, uh, turnovers, oh, turnovers force is what I want to see, uh, 10, so, uh, Sadi was with a couple, Van White with a couple as well, Whiteley, it wasn't really their back row, De Villiers had one, but it was here, Harold Vorster killed us with three, and then Skozan, Mapu, and Deanti with one apiece as well, really did, um, Shut us down there as well completely. Big game for Naholo. Ben Smith, I thought, yeah, I agree. He was quite good. Uh, but, yeah, let's move on now. Uh, we've got the game. Not not one, but a draw, considering we were 14-0 down with about three minutes to play. I'll take it. Um, we, we get a couple of points then. I mean, we get a couple more recruitments as well. We'll check those out. Uh, Tour of South Africa starts off poorly, but we scrape, I guess, a couple of points. Well, I talked about a couple of episodes ago. Our rugby champions was really good because you very rarely get those like um 14 nil or 14 you know kind of 
try um, sort of score lines where it's like sevens or fourteens. That this one was a bit weird. I guess you could forgive the Lions. They went for the penalty. They missed. They really should have won that game. And then you flip side and say the Highlanders really should have won that game too because um, we butchered two tries that we should have scored. The way it was, 16 or so minutes in, and we were down 14-0. I will take it. I will take it all day. Sadly, though, a draw, bizarrely, you might say, too, doesn't get you any points. That's annoying. I thought we would have got at least one in each category. You know, we're, we're, we're almost better off losing that game and getting the losing bonus points than we were to draw it. Um, on the actual fact of, of, of skill and attribute and recruitment points, uh, we got nothing for a draw. Maybe that needs to be rectified. Um, if you're watching, <laughs> uh, guys, uh, with the game, maybe you need something for a draw. Anyway, we'll move on. The good thing about it is we've grabbed a couple of points, competition points. A win would have put us right up there with the uh, Hurricanes who lost to the Jaguares, which is really interesting considering we smoked them. Um, yeah, that's really interesting as well. So the Hurricanes, not undefeatable. That's really good for our perspective. Uh, the Rebels went down to the Bulls. That's a big scoring game there. The Chiefs took out the Blues. No surprise there. They are still chasing us. But this is a real battle for second. The Reds got thrashed by the Waratahs. A draw. And uh, Joe Burrow against the Lions for us. And we got the uh, Crusaders versus the Stormers to go. So we will simulate our way through that one. Only the one game left there. To see what's going to happen in this final matchup. It is... The Crusaders, 12-3, who are also in South Africa, um, taking out the Stormers. In South Africa, however, it is, yeah, two wins, nine losses, and the one draw now for the Lions. They're up to 12. Um, in Australia, it's still the Brumbies, isn't it? By a long way. The Brumbies, by far, the best Australian team. Uh, the Reds doing woeful. But in South Africa, it is still the Hagwares. We're the only team to beat them. Wow. I wonder if they play Canterbury or they've played Canterbury. Who have they? They've only lost one seat. And we're the only team to beat them, although they did thrash us once as well. Let's advance into round what will be 15. Now, I'm pretty sure I looked up the last episode. We had the bye in round 16. So, technically, we've got 15, 17, 18 are the only rounds left we've got games in. So, three games to go. We're in a seven win, five loss, one draw record. And uh, we really need to start thinking about next season and who. We are going to be picking up. We've got all these recruitment points up here. Uh, let's check out the inbox. Uh, a draw. <laughs> oh, it's our first draw, isn't it? Hi, coach. I guess a draw is better than a loss. <laughs> I can't argue with that. Whoever sends me these emails. Who does send me these emails? I don't even know. Or whatever. Um, a top performance, no question. Josh Dixon, off the bench, picked up one of our top performers. That is a... I mean, does he deserve a start? Naholo got the two tries. Ben Smith got a lot of ball kicked at him. And he returned it fairly well. So I'll take that. He beat a lot of defenders. And Josh Dixon. Well, well, well. Next game, we've got the Stormers. Oh, I didn't even see that. Dylan Lades, Herschel Yankees, and Sir Khaleesi. Yeah, well, there you go. Not so many big names there, but I'm sure they will still be a tough side to take on. Really wasn't too impressed with what we got out of Ray Nui. I'm contemplating putting Ash Dixon in there instead. Putting Nui to the bench. Of course, Coltman's out for the whole tour. And you know what? Let's let's reward form. Josh Dixon was brilliant. He's going to come in for, oh, I think he's been one of our better performers, Putty Putty Parkinson. Um, I wonder who actually played better. Homopo's been really average. You know what? I'm going to drop Homopo. And uh, instead, we're going to put uh, Parkinson and Dixon together. The back row was really average, though, wasn't it? Which is my questions of guys that are going to support our ball carriers. We never really have a problem with that. Is Dylan Hunt really good in the breakdown? Uh, where's his ruck skill? There it is. 86. Not fantastic. Uh, we know what the guys who started were like. What's Tom Frank? He, he, what am I talking about? He's a lock. Uh, what about Elliot Dixon? Wow, Alec Dixon really good in the ruck. 91. Same as uh, Wylock. So maybe. This is a bit of a turn up for the books, isn't it? But maybe we go, hang on, why don't we do this? And drop Homopo altogether. Put Dixon 
hang on. We'll put Dixon as the uh, reserve loose forward, and we'll put Frizzell as the reserve lock. If we want to put a lock on, Frizzell or Dixon, may maybe more likely Frizzell can take that role in the second row. But we've got a good cover of our back row, which really we suffered last time with uh, the back line performing well. Umanga Jensen really has made that spot his own. Sorry, Rob. <laughs> but uh, your time's done, my friend. You can be a reserve if uh, poor old Mr. Umanga Jensen gets injured. Matt Faddis is a king. Uh, we can pour some points into this young lad here and um, see what happens. Josh McKay, I'd love to see more out of him. In fact, why isn't Josh McKay on the outside backs reserve? I, I don't see anything out of Jordan Highland at all. Let's get uh, Mackay in there. Um, and let's look at spending some points on that guy as well at the end of the season. Right, that is us though for today's episode. A really bizarre game. We were outplayed for 75 minutes and then stormed back into the game with some solo brilliance. Josh Uani is now our leading point scorer in the whole tournament um, with four more points than Mitch Hunt. And some real stars in there. Rob Dupreer, Marcus Olema, Pippi. <laughs> wow. What a champion this guy is. That is 10 tries. He's the leading try scorer by far. Bridge, Moroni, Naholo picking up a double leads into that second place. But we really don't have much else. To me, Lee was on that before this round. Now, he is not. So, Naholo is our lone star. And we've got two more games out for Liam Coltman. That is me for today, though, folks. Thanks for tuning in and watching. Hope you're enjoying the Rugby Champions series. Um, it's a nice little filler until we get the subscriber series going uh, very soon as well. That is still being worked on. Do not worry. Um, but this is something for you guys to tune into as time goes on. Um, but, yeah, until we meet again, thanks for tuning in and watching. And I'll see you all next time. Until then, take care.